food. We are wiping ourselves out. And if you want an interesting read, a nice little book of about 135 pages called Pottinger's Cats. It's a study that was done by a famous medical doctor named Francis Marion Pottinger, where he fed some cats a raw food diet, their normal diet, and he fed some cats cooked meat and various grades of pasteurized milk. And by the fourth generation, they were extinct. And in the end of the book, he makes a nice, interesting little statement. I see similar findings in my human patients. One of the things that he saw was that as we breed generation to generation and get more and more unhealthy, it's harder and harder to differentiate men, young men from young women. At the end of his book, and this is back in the late 40s, he shows pictures of I believe they're either high school or college students stripped naked facing a wall and he asked he asked medical doctors in large audiences everywhere he gave lectures to try to identify which were the males and which were the females and if I remember the statistic correctly about 90% of medical doctors could not tell the difference between the males and the females and then he showed clearly that the same thing happened with his cats as they got more and more unhealthy from eating cooked foods and processed foods that they you could not differentiate the males from the females you had to pick, physically pick them up and look at their genitals to see if it was a cat a male or a female cat which is not necessary with a healthy cat you can easily tell a male from a female if you know what you're looking at so what what a western price show he showed that when natives were exposed to white man's food which is processed sugar processed flowers uh, table salt and pasteurized dairy and back then it wasn't so much pasteurized dairy it was mostly sugar and flour that was doing this he showed with this is first generation exposure so these are people that were exposed to white man's food most of which was brought in by trappers by the way 